Our next topic is Policy Control Function, PCF. The PCF is a control plane function within the 5G core network. It is responsible for providing policies associated with mobility management and policies associated with session management. Mobility management policies can impact UE mobility in both RRC idle and RRC connected modes. Session management policies impact the quality of service offered by the PDU session. Session management policies also offer a mechanism to manage subscriber spending limits. PCF was called PCRF in 4G. The general pattern of interaction between the AMF, UDM and PCF is illustrated in the figure on the screen. The AMF obtains subscription information from the UDM. The UDM may store this information locally or may need to retrieve it from the UDR. The AMF subsequently provides the subscription information to the PCF. The PCF stores the subscription information either locally or using UDR. The PCF may then decide to modify the subscribed policy information according to the operator policies. For example, the subscribed policy from the UDM may not include any access restrictions. The operator policy configured within the PCF may specify that the UE is not permitted to access a specific TAC during business hours. In that case, the PCF would modify the subscribed policy during business hours and would provide the modified policy to the AMF. The general pattern illustrated in the figure is applicable to the access and mobility policy, which the AMF retrieves from the UDM during the UE registration procedure. The access and mobility policy allows a definition of service area restrictions. The UE is responsible for applying restrictions in the CM idle or RRC idle and CM connected or RRC inactive states. In this case, the network provides a UE with the relevant service area restrictions. Example, a list of forbidden tracking areas. Service area restrictions can be signaled to the UE using a NAS, registration accept message. The network is responsible for applying restrictions when the UE is in the CM connected or RRC connected state. In this case, the network can apply handover restriction lists to prevent specific mobility paths. It is also applicable to the RAT or frequency selection priority. The RFSP is an index which is provided to the base station and is then used to select specific radio resource management strategies. For example, the RFSP can be used to determine the set of cell reselection priorities provided to a UE. Alternatively, it may be used to move RRC connected mode UE to a specific network layer. Similarly, to the access and mobility policy, the AMF retrieves the subscribed RFSP from the UDM during the UE registration procedure. It is subsequently provided to the PCF where it can be modified according to an operator policy. RFSP is equivalent to the subscriber policy identity used by the 4G networks. The PCF can define an access network discovery and selection policy. The UE uses this policy for selecting non-3GPP access networks, for example, a wireless local area network, WLAN, based upon Wi-Fi. The non-3GPP access network can be used to offload traffic from the 3GPP access network. The UE can be provided with a WLAN selection policy which specifies the condition under which the UE should search for a WLAN and the set of selection criteria, for example, the maximum WLAN load and a list of service set identifiers. The PCF can define a UE route selection policy which provides a UE with routing outgoing traffic. 
The rules can indicate the traffic should be routed to an existing PDU session or that a new PDU session should be established or that traffic should be offloaded to a non-3GPP access network. The URSP include a set of traffic descriptors which allows the UE to recognize a specific type of traffic, for example, destination IP address, destination port number and higher layer protocol identity. The URSP also includes a set of route selection descriptor to indicate where the traffic should be routed, for example, a specific data network name, DNN. The PCF can retrieve information regarding the load of a network slice from a network data analytics function. The NWDAF is an optional network function which can collect network slice load statistics without having knowledge of specific subscribers. The PCF can use the load information when generating its policies. An application function AF may contact the PCF to request a time window for background data traffic. For example, if a large number of UE requires a software update, then the download of the software can be treated as background data traffic. The request includes the quantity of data to be transferred and the expected quantity of UE. The PCF can respond with a recommended time window, a corresponding charging rate and a maximum bit rate. The PCF interacts with the SMF during the establishment of a PDU session. The SMF retrieves QoS parameters from the Unified Data Management Network function. These parameters include the default SQI, the default allocation and retention priority, and the subscribed session aggregate maximum bit rate. The SMF subsequently provides this information to the PCF. The PCF applies its policy making decisions to generate the authorized SQI, ARP, and session AMBR. These authorized parameters are then returned to the SMF. The SMF forwards the parameters to the relevant network functions for enforcement. Example, they are forwarded to the user plane function, UPF. The PCF provides the SMF with service data flow, SDF templates. The SMF forwards the SDF templates to the user plane function which uses them to map downlink packets arriving from the external data network onto specific QoS flows belonging to specific PDU sessions. The PCF provides the SMF with charging rules. These rules can be based upon data volume, time or specific events. Charging rules can also indicate that charging should not be applied. The PCF helps to enforce subscriber spending limits using information provided by the online charging system. The OCS is connected to the PCF using N28 reference point when using reference point system architecture. The OCS tracks the current subscriber spending and provides spending limit reports to the PCF. The PCF can provide traffic steering rules to the SMF. The SMF forwards these rules to the user plane function where they are used to select an appropriate N6 interface towards the external data network. For example, Traffic steering can be used to direct traffic belonging to a specific PDU session through a parental control path to help ensure that any content being accessed is appropriate. Here I conclude this course. Hope you understand all the concepts clearly. Meet you in the next course. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do like and subscribe to our videos. So what are you waiting for? Join us for the course and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos.